During a school night, the kids may want to get to bed a little earlier tonight. According to the CDC, at least half of all middle schoolers and three and four high school students are not getting the proper amount of sleep on a daily basis. The youth sleep crisis is one that some experts believe is behind the youth mental health crisis that the Surgeon General has issued a warning about. Alex Glaze has the story. Sleep is a vital part of daily functioning. It affects everything we do, including functioning of kids, the ability to learn, their mental health, emotional health, social health, physical health. It affects everything. Oleg Karkovsky is the director of behavioral health services at Care First Blue Cross and Blue Shield. He says for kids up to six years old, the largest impact a lack of sleep can have is on growth and development. For teens and adolescents, their learning is impacted. Memory and the ability to interact with others is also impacted. But this crisis among kids isn't all about how much sleep kids are getting. It's also about when kids are going to sleep. As kids go through puberty, their ability to fall asleep earlier slows down and their need to sleep in later increases. Karkovsky says sleep hygiene is important. Going to sleep at the same time every day, regardless of the age, will help kids get in a healthy pattern. And staying away from screens as much as possible within two hours prior to bedtime helps with sleep. But parents also play a role in their kids' sleep habits. For kids, adolescents, most of the learning that takes place in relationship to their parents is through modeling. And so the best thing parents can do is model positive behaviors for their children. Alex Glaze, WJZ. Well, WJZ's Ready, Set, School back to school coverage continues bright and early Monday morning on the official first day of the school year for millions of Maryland students. So make sure you are keeping up with all of our back to school coverage on air and online by scanning that QR code right there on your screen. And as you get ready for that first day of school, we want to see your pictures. So head to our website, WJZ.com slash back to school. Then tune in all next week for a chance to see your photo here on air. Still to come, a 